In this video, we are going to do a question of permutation. It says if the letters of the word mother are arranged in as in a dictionary, what is the rank of the word mother? As you can see, I've written the word mother here and I can see this is one, two, three, four, five, six letter word. As you know that whenever any letters are given and if you are uh, asked to arrange them uh, the way it is in dictionary, uh, it, it's, it should be written alphabetically. Like, so looking into these letters, I can see that the, the first uh, word that will start with beginning with the letter E. So let's see how many words can be there beginning with the letters E. So let's fix E at its first place. And as you can see here, how many slots are left? We are left with that is one, two, three, four, five slots. And you know that these five slots can be filled in five factorial ways. So we'll be writing this as five factorial and five factorial is, is how much it is equal to 120. So altogether there are 120 words can be made fixing E at its first place. So once E get exhausted, as you know that the it will be alphabetically, the next turn will be for H. So we can see still again, we are getting uh, five such slots here. That is, uh, you can see here, one, two, three, four, five again, so that Therefore, this also can be filled with a five factorial base and that will give you 120. That means 120 plus 120 will give you, that is 240. By that, I mean to say that by the time the letter H at its first place gets exhausted, there will be some 240 letters or words, sorry, must have been framed. Now, next is uh, we'll be fixing M. But once you know that M is fixed, we are looking for the word mother. So this is what we are looking for. So therefore, now we will be thinking about how to fix the second letter, right? So the second letter, again, it will be alphabetically. So it will be H again, sorry, E. So E will come here, just a second. So it come E, right? So we have to fix E. Now fixing E, because now we are deciding the fate of the second letter, right? Because first is already occupied by M and we have to look for a word starting with M only. So now the fate decides about E. Fixing E at uh, the second place, we can see that we are left with some four slots and these four slots can be arranged in four factorial ways. So this is four factorial, which is uh, equal to 24 and therefore, adding 24 to the preceding, that is, it will get 264. So we can say that by the time all the letters framed with starting with ME, there must have been 264 letters written. Now, as we are deciding for uh, the second letter, first letter is already decided, then we'll see that after E, it will be H. Again, we got some four slots and these four slots can be arranged in four factorial ways, same way, We'll get here also, and that is equal to 24. Adding 24 to the preceding number, it should give you 288. 288. 264 plus 264 plus 24. Yeah, that's 288. Now, after H, the next will be for the turn for the O, the letter O. You see, we are getting O, right? We got O. Once we get M and O, then we will decide the arrangement of the letters that is third place onwards as the third place onwards as usual e will start first and uh, in fact we have to fix e so on fixing e we will have how many slots available that is one uh, that's one two three so again these three letters can be arranged in three factorial ways three factorial is six Adding six to the preceding number, we'll get 294. Once E is fixed, now uh, once E is fixed, let's see F fixing same way M O. After O, it will be turned for H for the third place. Fixing H again, we'll have how many three slots again available? So that is this is one two, three slots that can be arranged in three factorial ways and that is equal to six again and adding six to the preceding number, we are getting 300. 
so by the time moh in the beginning got exhausted there might have been there must have been written some 300 words in the dictionary now as you can see we next uh, after m right fixing m o after h it will be the turn for r so r same way we are left with uh, some three places or three letters to be arranged that can be arranged in three factorial ways which is equal to six adding six to the preceding number will get three zero six now after all the letters uh, all the uh, words have been formed starting with uh, the letter mor that means when mor get exhausted then it will be the turn for m o t as you can see we got t once we get t once we get t as we have to opt in mother word and uh, we have to decide for the fate of the fourth letter fourth letter as usual e will start first then fixing e also will have two slots available they can be arranged in two factorial ways and uh, that's two factorial two factorial is 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 two only and adding two to the preceding number will get three zero eight next we got e E. now we will look for h so m o t h now we are left with uh, once we get h as you can see we are looking for h that means we got first four letters in the order which we are looking for therefore the last two has to be decided now last two letters you know that uh, the uh, if these four letters are fixed then deciding about these two letters the priority will be for e and then R, that means placing E here, right? Placing, just a second. This is placing E here. So placing E, then the, we are left with only one letter and has to be R only. So therefore one, only one such combination, uh, one such arrangement is possible by fixing first four letters and that is one factorial is one only which is equal to one and therefore three this is equal to adding one to the preceding number it's three zero nine so what do we realize that altogether by the time the letter mother will come there will be some three zero eight by the time the word mother has come three zero eight words has already been written on the dictionary uh, on the, the way it is written in the dictionary therefore the rank for the mother will be 309 so therefore correct answer should be 309